Hey guys, just want to do a quick video. Uh, as you can see, here's the quarantine tank. There's my male ram. He's doing a little bit better. Um, I've started treating him with some more medication. As you can see, the water is like a greenish, yellowish color. It comes up green on my uh, my phone here, but it's actually yellow. Uh, that's from um, this uh, Furan 2. Uh, this is the newer um, package of Furan 2. I actually found an older one. Um, this one has uh, 85. Here it is, 85 milligrams of nitrofurazone per packet. Um, the old stuff has some other chemical in it as well. Um, there's two grams per packet here. Uh, as you can see, I wrote it on the package because I'm. Since it's a little five and a half gallon tank, I'm only using half a packet at a time. Um, so I measured that out, and basically I give them a gram per, basically every 24 hours um, for what, like four, five days. Um, You dose them four times with that. Um, so I'm doing that. Not only am I hitting them with that, I'm hitting them with this uh, Seachem Canaplex. Right. Um, these were uh, recommended to me by the guys over at uh, Aquatic Support Systems. So uh, I'm I'm trying this. Hopefully, you know, this gets him a hundred percent. Basically, I'm dosing him with those as well as uh, half a tablespoon of aquarium salts. Um, you know, I do the aquarium salts only at the water change um, and at my weekly water change. It's just to mainly help with, you know, grill, uh, gill flunk, yeah. grill functions. Yeah, gill functions. <laughs> And, uh, you know, it basically puts some electrolytes in the water, and it's just, you know, to kind of help them along a little bit more. You know, get them, get them a little bit, you know, I don't know, better faster, I guess. <clears throat> so, anyways, there we have it. That's the that's update here from me. I'm not dosing the Melifex right now. Uh, I have stopped that for the time being. I have not seen him do any flashing in the past few days. Um, the new heater uh, back there is working fantastically. Um, yeah, and that's basically it, guys. I just, you know, kind of wanted to give you a little update. I guess, actually, I will tell you, though, uh, the way I do this, I actually have, like, a small, one of those small single-serving um, water, um, water bottles, actually. Here, I'll show you down here. So here we go. It's you know just a little Poland spring. What is this? Eight fluoric ounces. Um, I mix up medications in this with water, and then add it. That way, you know, I'm not putting powder directly into the water. I'm not putting salt directly into the water where he can eat it. Um, and uh, the same with the Canaplex. You know, it just gets you know broken down in the water. Um, it, it's dispersed through the tank. You know, a lot easier. And, uh, you know, that's just my little trick that I do for, uh, for adding that. So, uh, I guess, you know, we'll see how this, uh, this all pans out. Hopefully, you know, he rebounds really well. Uh, he has seemed a little bit more active, uh, a little bit more, uh, you know, dog-like, I will say. Um, you know, that's, that's what I like to call, you know, what cichlids do when they kind of, you know, chase, chase your hand around or whatnot, or... You know, get excited when they see you. Um, but yeah, hope you guys liked the video. I'm going to cut it short here um, at four minutes. Um, we'll see how this guy does, and uh, you know, I'll keep you guys up to date. Um, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next vid.